Hello again everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at predicting parts of the hydrogen NMR spectrum for this amide structure. So this is propanamide. We don't get a lot of these in the A-level exams in the spectroscopy questions, but that just means it's only a matter of time before it happens to someone like you. So what we're going to do is go through the structure here and look for three main features. We're going to be looking for how many peaks do we expect to see, we're going to be looking at what the ratio is like between those peaks that we have, and finally we're going to be looking at that splitting pattern. For each individual peak, we're going to consider how many sub-peaks it splits into and how we can use annotating the molecule in the exam to help us meet the conclusion. So let's take a look at this propanamide to help us prepare for the A-level chemistry exams. So for this molecule, what we're going to do first is identify how many environments we have, how many peaks we expect to see. And hopefully the fact I've got three different colours pens is not a complete giveaway here. But we are going to be looking at this being an environment, let's call it A. We're going to be looking at this middle CH2 being a hydrogen environment, let's call that one B. And then finally we're going to be looking at this NH2 group here being an environment and we're going to call that C. Now don't worry how much of the molecule you circled up for this, this isn't important. The important thing is, are you actually considering that you've got three individual hydrogen environments here? If so, that's three peaks and we're on to the good start. So next up, what we're going to be doing is looking at what the ratio is like between these. What we use at A level is the number of hydrogens within the environment. And you normally get the peaks labeled with this in the exam. So what we're going to have is three, because we've got three hydrogens in that CH3 group, to two, because there's two in the CH2, and then finally, you've guessed it, it's going to be two in the NH2 group just here as part of this amide functional group. Next up, it's the all-important splitting pattern. So what we need to do now is go from our environment to the next carbon up and count how many hydrogens are there. So we're going to start over here on the far left-hand side, and we can see if we travel up to the next carbon here, we've got two hydrogens there. So we've got one, two hydrogens just there on that CH2 group. So environment A is going to be split according to the N plus one rule. So our N value here for environment A is two. So N plus one is three. So what we're gonna have here is a triplet, like so. What about environment B? Let's get rid of the pink pen so we don't make a mistake with that. We're gonna be looking at environment B and we're going to the next carbons up. So we can see here for B, we could go up in two directions. Now, very quick, short stop just there. There are no hydrogens on this particular carbon. So we go the other way and we see that there are three on here. So we've got one, two and three on that, which means our N value for environment B in the middle here is a three. So N equals three, because that's the number of neighboring hydrogens on the next carbon up in the chain. What that means is following the N plus one rule, environment B is going to be split into a quartet because that's going to be N plus one is four. And so we expect a quartet for environment B on our hydrogen NMR spectrum, getting rid of the orange pen. Then we move over to our final hydrogen environment, which is an NH2. Now for this one, what we don't do is travel anywhere. The hydrogens here are not going to couple to any other part of the structure. And so without even having to do anything, I'm going to point out straight away that this is going to be a singlet peak. And this one is a bit of a nightmare to spot, but here we've got this singlet, which is just going to have that ratio feature and the fact that it is even a peak as a way of trying to decipher what it is. We could, of course, use the chemical shift scale for this, but I just want to focus on splitting patterns, ratios, and the presence of peaks for this particular tutorial because you've got the chemical shift scale in the exam to lean on. Hopefully that clears up how an amide could come up in your hydrogen NMR spectrum in the exam. Please leave this video a like before you go because it really does support my channel and consider subscribing to stay updated. Until next time, though, happy revising.